Hi there, I'm not mentally well, and I have a question for you. Do you want to be able to create your favorite or unique Space Marine chapter, but just don't have the money to spend on a ridiculously overpriced set of toys? Well, let me tell you, my dear friend, I have the solution, and that solution is called Chapter Generator. Today, we're going to be teaching you how to go in, get it, and, uh, well, where to get it from, and then how to, how to paint it on up for you so you can probably use it as a template or your own kind of saved PNGs for a Space Marine chapter. And also, I'm going to show you some free websites how you can edit these images and how you can use them as you see fit, any kind of background. And I'm just going to show you some of the websites I've actually used over the years for some of my better YouTube channels, not this one, but with better YouTube art. And you can see how much you want to play around with them. This is great and very much a useful tool for anyone creating a custom Space Marine chapter. Grimdark. Half off! Your first step will be either following the link in the description box, or for some reason if you wanted to make things harder for yourself, typing in https colon forward slash forward slash bitbucket one word dot org forward slash chapter generator one word forward slash chapter generator forward slash downloads forward slash then pressing enter. After you've satisfied your crippling autism and OCD, you can then head over to the downloads. Head over to the latest one, Chapter Generator 2.0.0.224.zip, and click download. After you've downloaded the file, probably in your downloads tab on your computer, you're going to notice a 7-zip file, or zip file, simply titled the same name as what you just downloaded. After this, open the 7-zip file or zip file with any program that can do so. Then, move the main files you see right here. It should only be one, again, with that same name that you downloaded and that should be under the download that you have. And go from there. Just move that baby manually over into any part of your computer that you know you won't accidentally delete it on. For me, I moved it over to my documents. And in your documents, you should be able to open up the chapter generator. Now that you are able to access your chapter generator file, go down to the application file with the hourglass symbol that has chapter generator next to it. Click on it. The thing you should notice first is that pretty much everything is in Russian except for the immediate English that is displayed under the Space Marine Black Templar, Space Marine Blood Angels, etc., etc. Go ahead and go over to the RU sign right next to the link above that takes you to their blog. Visit the blog if you're interested and can read Russian. And then change the RU by clicking on it and it will turn it into an English program. Now, close the program, because before we do anything else, you obviously don't want to go into wherever you moved it to be able to access the generator every time. Unless, again, we said before, a crippling mixture of OCD and autism. We need to first go to that same application we used to access the program, and go right-click, create shortcut, and then drag that shortcut onto your desktop. This way, whenever you want, you can just open up the program and just like playing solitaire, start messing around and making your own Space Marine chapter. Now, as for the constructor itself or generator itself, you of course have two choices, the generator or the more meticulous constructor. In the generator, you have a series of Space Marine templates that you can alter and randomize to your heart's content, which is going to be enough for most people. After you've selected a template, go over to your first tab in Painting. This is where the program should open up. You should have a first window and a second window on this tab. And what you'll find here is one side actually governs what color your marine will be, and then the other side is the actual generator itself. Click on Creating to randomize the appearance of your actual marine whenever you desire, and then once you get something you like, click Save. After you click Save, it will be saved as a PNG in your chosen file location with a transparent background. So you can just slap these bad boys like stickers on any graphic you want. You can also choose to copy image, which will copy to your clipboard. And then you can open up, say, an open office or Microsoft Word program and paste. And you'll have it saved there as well. Moving on to the painter itself, the color is rather simple to use. Uh, Starting off with this, you can choose full if you want to keep things very simple. It'll change everything except for the outline around the uh, pauldrons, which you can change manually by your choice. If you want to move into quarters, you can do that as well. That'll take things into literally, well, quarters. One-fourth of the marine will change. And then you can go into parts, 
which will keep it a little more complex, which will give you arms, legs different, arms, uh, right arm, left arm, chest, uh, pauldron, outline, pauldron, outline, both sides, and then backpack as a whole, helmet as a whole. And then finally, my favorite, which is fragments, where you get to change every meticulous little piece of armor that you possibly can. In addition to this, you also have your model tab, which should be your second tab. You can use this to choose whatever model of helmet you want, honor guard, apothecary. This will change the general template of your creator if you want to make an apothecary. I personally think apothecaries and librarians are my favorite. So let's, let's go with librarian. And of course, that will change to that librarian blue in most cases. Not always, though. And you, of course, have a helmet choice all the way from MK2 to MK8, which are nice and displayed above if you so choose, like the MK. V, personally, I really like that. It's enjoyable. Settings, of course, now we go over to your third tab, main, and you can choose to add things like dust over here. We have these little toggles. I would leave most of these blank until you really are sure you want them. Uh, probably keep helmet on. That would be the only one I would suggest. But you can choose to add dust. You can choose to add equipment, uh, icons and backpacks, chains, seal, jump pack, and as far as the actual main generator, you can actually control what equipment is generated. Here I can set the epic and rare all the way down to zero, and we can get the most basic marine possible. Or we can set epic and rare all the way up to 100 and get the most epic marine possible. Or, of course, we can try for a commonplace one, the uh, representation of the average legion. We can go to 50-50, and boom, we get that. We get that nice little demonstration of the average soldier. That's very cool. Very cool. Or if you want them to be not rare, but not epic. Or you want them to be epic, but not rare. Okay, this is me oversaturating the video. Schemes. All right, let's go to schemes. And of course, this is a series of pre-made color palettes you can choose to use on your character. And there will be different ones depending on what you choose. I know that the Grey Knights have three different templates. The Ultramarines have many. And whatever you're seeing on screen has its own varied of effects, of course. Signs. So this is just for your pauldrons. This is like a huge selection of various different signs you can have for your pauldrons. They can be tactical meanings or whatever your chapter deems them to be or deigns them to mean. Moving on to the last part of our video and the, probably the one that most of you who are watching this video or cared enough to look up this subject will probably use the most and that is the constructor. Within the constructor you have three basic templates to choose from because of, obviously you're going to have a high degree of customization here and almost everything you're going to manually put on. You have just between Space Marine, Space Marine Terminator, and Chaos Space Marine. For this example I want to click on Chaos Space Marine because that's interesting to me. All right, so when it comes to creating, it's rather simple. You'll notice the same color palette here, but painting is there, but assembling all has to be done manually. There's a reset button to change all the things that you previously did, but other than that, you're kind of on your own. So just be sure what you want when using this. Your first tab under arm, it's opened up just like a computer file. Armory opens into helmet, cuirass, shoulder pads, arms, belt, legs, backpack, weapon, decoration, and equipment. Under equipment, you're going to have mecha, mechadin, mecha, ma, wait, what? Mechadendrite, mechadendrite 2, mecha, mechadin, me, mechadendrite, oh, mechadendrite. Mechadendrite. That was interesting. That was new. A decoration. You can have apron, robe, cloak, and chain options. Under weapon, you have one-handed or two-handed options. Under two-handed, you have missile launcher, auto cannon options, soul reaper options, heavy bolter options, plasma cannon options, last cannon options, multi melta options, blast melta, sonic blaster. You have under one-handed right arm and left arm options. Of course, we have various melee close range range and special. It would take years to go over all of them. I'm trying not to. Under backpack, you have various different armor types of backpacks while also having specific ones, including jump packs, which are very interesting. And then under that, you can change the turbine and the strap, which is, again, very intricate. Uh, legs, groin guard, feet, firm, femur guard, shin left, femur right, shin right. So have fun with that. The various belt styles that you can choose. And you can, again, hyper-specialize that between the clasp and the strap. And again, clasp and strap. Arms, okay. Arm left, hand left, arm right, hand right. And under hand right, you have various, various hand options. 
Oh, that's cool. They have one for each. If you choose Chaos Space Marine, they have one for each of the symbols of the Chaos Gods. Ah, it's really cool. It's really cool. You get a little Zine symbol, a little, little Slanesh, a little Nurgle, a little corn. You can do that. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. And I'm guessing that actually we go over a painting. I'm guessing it changes with the color of your ornament. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we, we have a corn symbol. So let's let's go over. Let's Let's put that there. Well, what does that do? Ah, yes, it does. It does change it with the ornament. Too. Okay, that's very cool. That's very cool. Uh, and then the shoulder pad, shoulder pad right and left, and obviously you can guess that gives you a selection of the various armor types. Curus, and again, collection of the various armor types. And Curus Smith, there's an image. You can have various images. What, okay, various design patterns. And it gets ridiculously overly complex. So... I hope you enjoyed this. All right, so these are basically just some less capable free alternatives to Photoshop. If you want to alter the image later, you know, you want to look up your own art, you want to look up your own croppable, make transparent uh, things that you can add to your armory and add to your soldiers that would be very interesting to you, that would be very much a unique flavor to your regime, if you will, then let's head over to our four choices. They're going to be Lunapic, Photor Editor, Backgrounder, and the one we're going to be demonstrating, Free Online Image Editor, or online-image-editor.com. As you can see on screen, after you've chosen the image you want to upload, which should be one of your Space Marine PNGs, what you can do is go over to the Advanced tab, or the second tab, and go to Transparency, which will be the second selectable option. You can then go to doing either a kind of painted line, of the various areas on your image, which can range from a width of one pixel all the way up to 25. And of course, that will be whatever color you select to the right of it. For this case, it's yellow. And you'll notice that as soon as that's done, and the image becomes transparent in all the areas. Alternatively, and more likely, you're going to want to use Remove Area because the generator itself seems to be using uh, very square spaces for all the uh, different arms and legs, and if you want to selectively take one out, maybe put in like a tentacle arm or a chaos mutation, you're probably going to want to remove area with a transparency box. Then when it comes to the, well... You can also remove transparency, which is the reverse of it, but it won't replace it with much. It'll just replace it with a white box, usually, or the color white. So just be wary of that option. And of course, you can also go back to basics. You can choose to resize the image up or down. Obviously, the image generator, one of its problems is that it does give you fairly small PNGs. So just be aware of that. They're about the size of real Space Marine miniatures, but in pixel form. Uh, so they'll probably look great on a phone, but probably not so great. You could actually probably email these to yourself and then use one as your iPhone wallpaper if you really wanted to. But yeah, no, that's basically it. You have resize, you have crop. If you really just want to get just a helmet, maybe for whatever reason you want to apply that helmet to some other thing, you want to get just the helmet of your Space Marine, you can crop the image all the way down there. But I assume you know how to use basic Photoshop tools and... Other than that, I just recommend you mess around with the editor. This ends this video. The whole reason I wanted to do this video is that I realized something very important during my last one, which was more or less just a ramble, just like this one, kind of. And that's the, honestly, I really just want to, if I'm going to produce 40k content on this channel, I want to do something that contributes to the fandom. And given the level of audio equipment I have available to me, I don't really think I can do it justice the way a Border Prince does or Baltimore does for narration. So every video I do on 40K, I want it to be something community-based, something involving a question that I either put towards the community or a kind of review of community content or a facilitation of more community content being created. So I hope this has shined a light on Chapter Generator because I haven't seen a lot of videos on it. Tell me what you would do with this device down below in the comments. Tell me what chapters you would create. What guards of the Astra Militarum would you create? What Chaos Space Marines? Tell me, tell me, please.